In this video, we're going to be looking at downloading and installing an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short, which is to programming what Microsoft Word would be to writing a letter, and takes all the tools we need to write and test our code and puts them all in one place. Specifically, we're going to be looking at downloading and installing the Community Edition of IntelliJ, which, as you can see, has a few less features than the Paid Edition, but still has what we need to start programming in Java. So the first thing we need to do is go to this website, uh, this can be done by just following the link that I posted in the description. We then need to make sure the right device is selected, so in my case that will be the Mac, and then we simply just hit download. And so after that we should get a nice thank you page for downloading, and the download should start straight away as we can see in the bottom left corner. We've got a few things here saying if we can sign up for the uh, helpful tips and tricks, or potentially if we want to find out about new product features, but I'll leave that up to you. So what we need to do is then wait for the download to finish. So now that's finished downloading, I'm going to start with the installation by clicking the download here. And what I'll do is it'll open IntelliJ onto my Mac, and then it'll give me the option to simply just transfer it into the applications folder. And so that should take three, four seconds to do, as you can see over here. And then once that's done, I'll have the opportunity to simply launch it as I would like any other application. So the way I'll do that is by going to my launchpad and you should see the application uh, icon pop up. After You may need to wait a few seconds like I have and then I'm just going to click open and again this may take slightly longer, maybe a few more seconds just because it's the first time it's loading on your Mac. And here we'll have the application saying are we sure we want to open it. I'm going to click open because I know where this has come from. Uh, usually you'll get this message whenever you download something that isn't from the Mac store. And then I don't have any import settings, so I'm going to select that because it's the first time I'm installing it and click OK. And so this is your choice of the theme you want to use. I'm just going to go with the normal light one. And then I'm going to skip the remaining and set defaults. And so what we'll have here is IntelliJ setup and a nice welcome. So we've essentially ready to start with our programming. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is create a nice, easy Hello World program just to check it all works. So create a new project, and we can see we have the JDK installed from our last video. Here it's referred to as SDK, which is the Software Development Kit, and that just simply refers to a broader version. Well, it's a broader term which encompasses JDK. So I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to click Next, and then I'm going to be creating a project from template, and then click Next again, and I'm going to call that project Hello World. And then I'll click finish. And as you can see, IntelliJ is creating the project for me. And so we sometimes have some tips uh, that pop up. I'm just going to click close. Um, but it's your choice if you want to really read through them. And then what I'm going to do is write some code for us to test. So what this should do is simply print out the text, hello, world. OK? And I'll. What I'll do is I'll have another video after this going through all the basics of Java, including the syntax and everything else included. And so I'm going to save this. So file, save all. And what, we'll, what I'll do is I'll double click, double click here. And if I navigate down to source, uh, I'll be able to see main, which corresponds to the main here. OK? And so now what I'll do is usually you may need to give it a few seconds. As you can see, it's loading here. But then once that's done, all I can do is simply uh, double click main here and then it'll give me op the option to run main. So I'm going to hit that and as you can see it's building over here. So then once that happens, I'll get my output, hello world. And so we can modify this easily. For example, I can change it to hello world exclamation mark. And another way, much easier way to run this is simply by clicking this sort of play button here. So if I click that, then it will recompile and print out hello world with an exclamation mark. So thank you very much. I hope you found this video useful. And in the next one, we'll be going through all the code, as I mentioned before, and a bit more depth, and a bit more depth into what Java programming really entails. So thank you very much. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.